Hello, I'm very thankful to be in this space. And um, as many people are aware, we are in a very um, large mass um, leap in human consciousness. Um, we're moving and we're shifting away from the fear-based control type of paradigm into a more um, loving, heart-based, thriving world. That is the new paradigm shift. This is shifting out of 3D consciousness more into the, five, the 4 and the 5D consciousness for those who understand it from that perspective. Um, the one reason that I wanted to do this video is I wanted to talk about love. Um, <clears throat> there can never be enough love in this world. Um, and many are out there seeking, actively seeking, a, some sort of, of true love or a divine type of partnership. So um, I wanted to just give a brief um, description and, and give a few tips on what I've learned on this journey. So let's look at this card. I feel like this card is, this is the lover's card represented in traditional tarot. And it is represented by the number six, which represents harmony, hearth, and home. Uh, it is also represented by the air sign Gemini, okay, meaning twins. So what is important to know about this card? Okay, so we have a male and he, as you can see, is looking towards this female for, um, he's, he looks to her for his fulfillment. That's how the masculine or the, the masculine energy, that's, that is his fulfillment, is to find that, the embodiment of that feminine. But you'll look, you'll look, as you look over here, she is looking up towards the heaven, towards this angel. So in order to have that union, the, the, the feminine in this case then looks upward and bonds with spirit, with God, with source, whatever you choose. I choose the word God. That's how I identify my higher power as God. And so as she looks and continues to move in, inward and moves and strengthens that connection with the divine, that draws her partner to him. So if you are the embodiment of the feminine, you don't really have to Go out and seek that partnership outside yourself. Learn to love yourself unconditionally and really know and believe that, you know, that you are very powerful and that you have this very powerful connection with spirit and trust the divine because the, the divine will then deliver that, that person to you within divine timing according to divine will and it'll be absolutely perfect and it'll be absolutely amazing when that happens um, and when we get into that spiritual relationship it does present its challenges um, but when we're talking about love it means to sometimes we have to examine ourselves and that's what that spiritual connection is it's a lot of self-examination it's a lot about uh, purging and getting rid of and learning like to love even to even love ourselves even with our own flaws because if you're trying to attract a very loving relationship into your life it starts with self-love and um you know and seeking it outside of ourselves many times it's it doesn't it's not it doesn't last um, because most people are seeking if you're seeking a solid foundation then that this this approach does work to go within to really rely more on your connection with spirit and you will attract the right person at the right time exactly and they will be your energetic match because generally we do attract our vibrational frequency so the higher the frequency the higher the vibrational experience love is the highest vibrational frequency you can have so when we become that whole embodiment of unconditional love, we attract much higher, um, very beautiful and very um, loving types of situations, experiences, and relationships into our lives. And so <clears throat> that's just what I've been discovering on this journey up until this point. I was prompted to share this video. Uh, how many more videos I'm going to do, I'm not exactly sure. But I am very, very thankful to be here. I'm very 
thankful to be in this space, to be able to share this with you. Um, love is the foundation for everything, you know. Um, it really is. It's 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 the reason we get out of bed every day, you know. I mean, are you going to get out of bed every day um, from a perspective of love, or are you going to keep you know, getting out of bed every day because you fear, you fear losing everything because we have all these attachments, you know, and that's part of that old paradigm that is falling away, you know, to be able to get up and greet the morning and just love our lives and love who we are. That's really an incredible experience. Well, I've rambled on enough, so thank you very much and have a beautiful, blessed day.